Is there big money in concrete installation? Hi, my name's Nate Jones. I run this channel. I make videos on businesses, how you should start and which ones you should start, and entrepreneurship. If you get value out of this video, give it a like and a subscribe. Okay, so we're talking about concrete installation, back patios. That's what I'm kind of focusing on. I've really dug deep on how much you can make in this business. I was really surprised and I got inspiration for this video because my wife and I bought a brand new house and the back patio was really small when we bought it. We had to hire a concrete contractor to come out and extend that back patio so we had enough space to sit back there and have dinner and just hang out on the back porch. And a lot of other people in our neighborhood had to call a concrete contractor out and extend that. And with the way homes are being built right now and how many homes there are just in my city, I live in Indianapolis, just in Indianapolis alone, there's 395,000 houses. Um, and that's not even including the suburbs. I actually live in a suburb, but uh, just including the suburbs of Indianapolis, there's probably over 500,000 houses. And that's just Indianapolis. So if you think nationwide, I do believe this is a need if you live close to a city. Um, so many new houses are being built, so there's always gonna be opportunity because these home builders, let's face it, they sometimes they build great houses, but they don't put a lot of effort into the extras. And if you wanna pay them to do the back patio, it's even more expensive than what you'd pay a concrete contractor. So let's dive in here. Let's see how much you can make running this business. Uh, let's dive in. So um, you're gonna pay anywhere. I put an average, I was looking nationwide, looking at different things. The average came in around $10 a square feet a square foot. So $10 a square foot is what you're going to pay. And I said, what's an average size of a back patio? Well, a back, back patio is around 12 by 12, which is about 144 square feet. 12 by 12, you can fit about a table with five chairs on it pretty comfortably. So I said, you know, 12 by 12 is probably pretty average. So it's 144 square feet. And the average cost, so if you take 10 times 144, or 144, it's a little under 1,500, but I just said, hey, for 1,500, let's just round it up to 1,500. So as a concrete contractor, if you're going by $10 a square foot, you're gonna be able to charge 1,500 for to install that back patio. And I was like, okay, but time is money, right? So how long is that gonna take you to install? Came in around four to five hours a day. So um, by the time you prep it, get everything ready, it's gonna take you about four to five hours to basically walk away from that job. Um, you're probably gonna have to come back um, and make sure it's done, but that's only gonna take you maybe 15, 20 minutes. So you're spending about four to five hours. Um, your cost, because we gotta go into profitability because profits are the only thing that matter in business. Let's go through profits here. Your cost is gonna be around $3 a square feet. That's for the concrete and any other material that you have. So you're, you're at 10, $10 a square foot minus $3 a square foot for your cost, that puts you at $7 a square foot profit for any job. So $7 a square foot profit times 144 square feet for our 12 by 12 puts us at a $1,000 profit. Um, and if you do stamped or decorative concrete, if you can learn how to do that, um, your profitability from my analysis went up another thousand. So whatever the profit is for um, a regular concrete slab, stamped and decorative is double that. So you'd put a 2,000. So um, first off, the profitability for one day's work on that is pretty good. Um, like I always say, there's money in the trades, there's money in home services. Um, if you can learn how to do this, which is, if you can learn from somebody, this is a great business to start. So let's go into how much can you make, how can we make, like I put on this video, how much can we make uh, how can we make $336,000 a year in this business? So if we're at five days a week, let's just say we work five days a week, and um, that's, that means that you can do uh, five jobs a week. Let's just say you do one job a day, which is a $1,000 profit. Five days a week, that puts us at $5,000 in profit. Four weeks a month puts us at $5,000 a week times four weeks, which is $20,000 a month. And I put eight months out of the year because where I live, uh, there's about four months where it's really cold and concrete. And there needs to be some sort of um, hot weather. So depending on where you live, this can be less. But I put eight months where I live. So if you're down in Florida, probably 12 months out of the year, you can do it, um, which might be a good place to start a business. So uh, eight months out of the year here in Indiana, you can do 20,000 times eight puts you at $160,000 in profit working four to five hours a day. Um, that's pretty good. So you're making $160,000 a year. Uh, which is probably a hard job to find. Um, 
for working four to five hours a week and not working four months in the winter. So you get to take the whole winter off and make $160,000 profit. If we add two more jobs a week, so that means two days a week, we're working eight to nine hours instead of four to five hours, that would put us at 7,000 a week profit, 28,000 a month profit, 224,000 for the year, which the year for us is only eight months. So that's 224,000 profit. Then you can go down to Florida and just hang out, don't have to work, or maybe do some concrete down in Florida, who knows? The revenue for that was $336,000 a year. So you're profiting 224, you're making 336. So um, you could probably get your profitability higher if you're able to do a lot of volume because you're able to bulk buy or, or bulk order that concrete. Um, and this is, if you're adding those two extra days in a week, that's 28 hours a week to make $336,000 a year in revenue, 224,000 in profit. Um, that is pretty good. I always say, you know, there's certain businesses in which you wanna be really smart about starting. Uh, this business is a trade that's more of a skilled trade. The more skilled the trade is, from my analysis of reviewing businesses, the more money you make. So if you're in electrical, plumbing, concrete, excavating, you make a lot of money in those trades, HVAC, because it is more skilled. Somebody who has a pickup truck who rolls up to a job site can't readily do that. They need some training, they need to be able to be good at what they do. Concrete is one of those things. You have to know what you're doing. Now, if you can learn underneath somebody else and then start your own business and do this, um, that's pretty good. So um, definitely a, an amazing business to be in and it's a business I would recommend if, if you have any sort of, um, let's say maybe you don't have a technical skill or you don't have anything that you're really thinking about starting, great business to start. If you got value out of this, this video, I would like that you please subscribe and like. I'm gonna be posting content like this all the time, giving you ideas for businesses to start.